the Chessbase Remote Engine. It's new in Chessbase 18. It was published together with Chessbase 18, but it runs on any software that supports the UCI engine protocol. To demonstrate this, let's open the board window and call add Kibitze. And here you notice this new engine called Remote Engine, which actually is not a real engine, but just an interface providing a UCI front end to communicate with a back end, an engine running on a server and data center. I click OK to load this engine. You see another program popping up quickly. And now we have the familiar engine window in Chessbase 18. Let me show you how to configure this engine. I toggle back to this other window, this other application, and I click on default engine here. You might notice that I am logged in with my account, MW Testing, my test account here. And uh, here I can see a choice of different uh, engines, Fritz and Stockfish basically, and some hardware configurations. At the moment, I'm running configuration tiny cheapest possible server in the data center. But actually, I don't have to pay if I have a premium account. And the premium account, one year, is included in all Chessbase 18 packages. So if I now change my engine configuration, I go from the tiny configuration to the free configuration. And I go from Fritz 90 to Stockfish 17. And I say, save as default. And now the next start of the remote engine will work with this configuration. If I close this application, it will also close the engine in chest base. And restarting the remote engine will now show Stockfish 17 as remote engine. Note that if the, um, the engine name here in the engine window is written in a blue typeface, then this means that the engine is running on in a cloud. What's the point of this? First of all, if you are on the road with a mobile computer, it saves your battery because the engine has um, uh, and, uh, takes full power on your CPU and that consumes a lot of electrical power. Also, it um, soothes your nerves because your cooling van will not run because the uh, CPU, your local CPU in your computer will not heat up because it would run under maximum load with an engine. So here at the moment, I have zero load at all because the engine is running in a data center, possibly in a German data center, but it could also be in Finland or in the US, wherever something is free, this is selected automatically. You might know that we have a cloud engine concept, a trusted, well-working, uh, powerful cloud engine concept. Why do we introduce this, this different approach? Well, the, um, um, our traditional cloud engines are kind of market. Um, either you have to provide your own hardware, which many top players do, or you have to rely, to rely on the machine, what is being offered in the market by other providers. Uh, and sometimes there's just not enough interesting stuff. And here, this concept guarantees you the availability. Well, it doesn't guarantee you, but, but it's, there's a very high uh, uh, likelihood that the machines listed here are available and can be initialized very quickly. Um, and also, there's an, a, a different matter, psychologically maybe. If you use the traditional engine cloud, you're not using your own machine, which most people do. They provide a machine for themselves. But if you rely on the other machines, then in theory, um, the guy on the other side, the provider, could see your analysis. And uh, so people might not like this for obvious reasons, but when there is a server running in a data center, nobody sees what's running on it. OK, that's the point behind this new remote engine concept. Um, you can configure a remote engine um, to be the default engine. It's also quite nice. It has a lower overhead in uh, usability. 
So if I click here on the uh, on the engine name and on advanced, I can just check this box default engine. Okay, okay. And now I can toggle this engine by hitting Alt key F2, the normal famous hotkey in chess space to toggle the default engine. And you see if I hit Alt F2, it will just start right away. No interaction, no prompts, just starts. Of course, this button will exactly do the same. I prefer the keyboard, but this is the same. OK, one final remark about this um, engine. If you prefer a powerful engine here, you click Default Engine, and maybe you uh, change your uh, hardware configuration to a much bigger, and also more expensive server. Um, this might take quite some time, one or two minutes to initialize this, because the, the, um, the server is started on the fly in the data center. Um, to make a joke about it, <laughs> somebody has to unpack the machine and run to the server rack, plug it in there, and make it and boot it, and install a Stockfish. And so, so that could take one or two minutes. And uh, sometimes servers are available right away, maybe the smaller ones. And, and also, we um, hold some some servers in reserve. So if you're lucky, you just can start within one second. But don't be um, irritated if a big machine might take a minute to initialize. Um, if it's your default engine and then you toggle it on and off, um, it will be available then very quickly because once it is initialized, it stays there for some time. Uh, but the first start might take a bit. Um, some small things here. OK, you have to log in. You can, of course, log out. If you're not logged in with Chessbase account, you cannot use the functionality. You see your current uh, ducats balance. And if you click on plus, you are uh, directed to the Chessbase shop where you can uh, buy ducats. And uh, uh, then you have a, a list of all your builds. So you saw that the previous engine was the free flat rate premium engine. At the moment, I'm paying uh, 0.15 ducats per hour for this uh, machine. Oh, I paid uh, at the moment. Uh, yeah, now I'm running, sorry, I'm running the engine free here. And the last one, I paid the tiny configuration. If I click engine, I have my current builds for my current configuration. OK. Then we have the About button, which also leads to all the uh, open source um, licenses, source code, and so on, which is used here with Stockfish. And uh, that's basically about it. Don't worry to just close this window. It will then close the engine in Chessbase.